my name's Rebecca and I'm here today to show you a change made in Muzak Library Manager to make it easier for users working with Edge and importing their borrower information or their students from Edge into Library Manager. When you first open Library Manager, if you click on Borrowers from the menu and then the SM Edge Borrow Update button, this brings you into the Borrow Update screen. From the drop down, you can choose Edge. These selections haven't changed in the screen, so if you're not using enrollment numbers in Edge for importing through to your borrowers and you've got Library Manager configured to automatically populate borrower numbers for you, you should be clicking No, so the match on student records will be done by name. Normally the selection here for status of levers to deletes is left at No. The key change we've made for you here is in this section of the screen below. Currently, or previously, Edge users have had to go and create library update files and save them to a drive and folder in Library Manager to be able to browse to in this section here. We've added a second option for you to integrate to Edge for you without those files needing to be made previously by an Edge user. This does require you though to enter an Edge user username and password of an appropriate Edge user that has the responsibility level such as Enrollment Officer that can create those library update files. The URL to Edge will be automatically populated for you and the school MOE number will be updated at the end here to reflect your school. This will read from your license file. The other thing you will need to enter is if your school uses a proxy. Username, password, proxy address and port are all required to be completed if you use a proxy. If you don't, these can be left blank. So the only difference is opposed to browsing for the borrower update files and having to create them first in Edge, you now have an alternative to not have to go and chase up an Edge user to create these files for you. You can put in the Edge username and password, proxy settings is required, and then continue on to run your update as usual. We hope this has made things easier for you. Enjoy your day. Thank you.